I'm amazed to repeat the fact that this was Ali's debut performance of the first poem he ever wrote. <laughs> Who's your English teacher? <laughs> we got time for one more. Is there anybody else who wanted to come up here? I saw a hand. Come on up, dear. I see two hands. I'm sorry. We got time for one more. Whichever of you beats me to it. Come on up. All right. What's your name, my dear? Asma. Asma, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Asma, please. Um, my name's Asma. I am an English teacher, and um, I've been writing for a really long time. Um, I wrote this poem about the feeling that all love is conditional, um, and I know now that it's not because I have the capacity to give unconditional love to the people that I love. <laughs> oh, sorry. You pitched a tent in my throat as if to remind me that your love has always been conditional. One wrong move and it would dissolve within my stomach acid or get lodged somewhere important, somewhere I'd notice it. At first you left me tongue-tied. Now I... I cough up blood or my own heart, pin it to my sleeve. I have always been obvious, always bare and naked and on fire. I have never shied away from, sorry, <laughs> you have never shied away from warming your hands, your face, your heart on my flame. After all, I have never pushed you aside, never denied you the comfort of my warmth. So I suppose this is all my doing. Moths are drawn to the light, and you are but a moth to my bonfire heart. Incapable of creating your own spark, needing to live off of others, there is no space for you at my table anymore. I have used your chair as firewood. All the other seats are taken, reserved for people who bring something to the table. I said goodbye to you long ago. You just never heard it over your own voice. Thank you very much, Asma.